You think, okay, if that's unwise, then I won't do it. Yeah, we do want to find an alchemist, but we don't like because you want to preserve that. That's yeah, real hyper awesome stuff. That can but, yeah. That's, yeah, I uh, figured it would be. Uh, while we're out here, I'm gonna to try to contact Fiona too. Sure. It's a weird feeling. It's like uh, somebody picked up the phone and is just listening but not saying anything, so to speak. Like they, they answered, but they're not saying anything? And they're yeah, not showing who they are. It's not showing anything either. It's just, Where is she? The connection is broken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's a card for you, Chris. There you go. And hey, can you contact Mel? We haven't seen her in a while. Do you guys want to continue going through your Rolodex while you're in a potentially compromised position? I don't know. The reason I asked Doc is because of the whole um, diary that we read and Mel was one of the things mentioned in the diary. Relating to us. I pull out my sketch pad. I write on my sketch pad and I write, I write on my sketch pad. Well, Mel and Fiona were close. Fiona's now gone. Mel is from chaos. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. I burn that piece of paper. <laughs> no problem. So, yeah, I think she was just, I think she's definitely like a, a friend of me. So. You have a yeah. few friend of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want contact Blaze? Part of me does. <laughs> <laughs> like one day when I learn how to do the psychic attack, I'm going to like <laughs> give him a call and be like, fuck you. <laughs> but then again, like, see, the only shitty part is that he's so arrogant and he's so focused on his own bullshit that I don't know if he understands what's all going on here or what. I, I, I know he's which would make for a fucked up ally at this point too. Um, and then because, again, because you what? need more, because you need more frenemies. Oh yeah. Get friends close and, and it's closer. You need an ally that will help you out and then stab you in the back as soon as that's over. But see, the problem is this isn't his girlfriend. His girlfriend is from chaos. So is she just there to sway him to the other side? Is that part of what's going on here? You know, it's, we need to get the fuck out of here. Like, okay, we're yeah, done right. here. That's, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Which card? My... Uh, no, no, I'm not getting my, my back. I'm not doing that yet. Oh, shit. Right, you open the chest of vomit smells, pull out your vomit smelling uh, armor. You can almost see the reek coming off of it. Oh, the I'm fur is all that. fucked up. It looks like a cow that's been run over, drugged through the mud, using a few rodeos mercilessly, and then by a pervert mercilessly. I'm sorry, Kyle, that you had to spend the night in there. It must have been so good. Uh, okay, we're, we're gonna leave now. Come on. Uh, says the armor. Okay, can we? Put it on. Right. All right. Uh, hmm. Anyway, <laughs> let's um not leave directly from here, but rather go back to the place we originally started from and leave from there. Yes. 
No, <laughs> by now they have people there waiting, thinking we might come back. <coughs> I write down on the sketch pad. Um, you're not sure, by the way, with your expertise in the uh, the Oops. things, you're not sure if that actually helps or if it just makes somebody redirect where their gaze is going. Um, hold on. Let me check something. Since this is a new day. A new no. day. I write um, <clears throat> I, 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 I it anyway, because why not? Um, I don't want them to see any of the trumps that we use in our place because they can then copy them and go there. Dot, dot, dot. Once it's ready, I burn it. The house definitely smells smoky. That helps against the vomit smell, though. So it's smoky vomit. It's a new perfume line from Chanel. Well, back to our shadow, then, or do we have things we need to do out here? I don't believe we have anything to do here, unless you have something. We need to go fix the other problem. Well, like... <clears throat> it's important. Oh, I know that's important. Ah. Uh... Okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, I will, um, let's see which potential trump card just to burn, because I'm not going to ever use that one again. So you're going to pull out a trump card in here, which you just said is a bad idea? Yeah, but I'm going to burn the trump afterwards then. Sure. Uh, oh, which trump are you pulling They're out? still going to see what it is, and they're going to see where we're going, because mm. it's for two minutes. Well, for me, it's 30 seconds, but yeah. Um, He's special. Like, even if we walk down into an alley, it's better than that at this point, I think. True. Sure. And mm -hmm. actually, let's go do that. Let's go walk Why outside. Why don't we just shadow walk back? Hey, it's really hard to get shadow walking out of Amber. It takes a while. Is it? It's a uh, pain in the ass. Well. Shifting shadow anywhere close to amber, the closer to amber you are, the more pain in the ass it is. But there are alleys nearby, plenty of alleys, twisty, windy alleys. In fact, you may even get mugged if you're super lucky. He calls attention to us. <laughs> it shows the same shopkeeper shaking down Chris for more gold. He's just like, here, just take the rest of it. I don't care. Um, actually, when we get to the alley, before we go, I'm going to pull out Merlin's card and contact him. Okay. There's no reply. Maybe he's busy. Maybe he's unconscious. Maybe he's having sex. Maybe he's on the toilet. You don't know. There's no answer. Bring no answer. Ah, I know where we can go. That's within our wall. Wait, did you ever, hey, did you ever ask the one I asked you to talk to about where you should put the Logris? Yeah, no? he, he, he was watching us as we were discussing things. Some drunk guy and comes in the alley. Is this one taken? Get the fuck out of here. Ah, give me an intimidate roll, Chris. He says, you can talk to me like that. He <laughs> uh, yes, when we were discussing our plans, he was watching us. And as soon as we turned to maybe talk to him, he disappeared. He didn't want to talk to us, basically. He was just observing. You mean you didn't take the, he was just observing. Are we talking about the same person? I pull out a trump of ghost wheel and I tap it. Yeah, I nod my head, yes. Oh, he was watching, like he was there? 
kind of there. It was in a painting, kind of, you know what I mean? And as soon as we turned to look at him directly, he disappeared. A single roof tile goes tick, 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 psh, and shatters in the alley. So yes, he, he was observing, but unwilling to communicate. I, uh, I'm having a look around. Sure, give me a spot lower is better. You don't see anything from here in the alley. The buildings are rather close in. The roofs are slightly overhanging the alley. I'll be ready to leave. We go to, we continue away. Like we go yeah, to different. another area. And Cut we to kind of talk as we're walking. A different alley. Oh, uh, you're going to talk as you're walking through the crowds of people. Everybody give me counter surveillance a half. Good luck. They're far too fiendish for the likes of you, pale face. It's a good thing I put all these points in counter surveillance. Yeah, Freddie, you're thinking that you've got a large team of people on you that's rotating in and out and staying really like close at times to try to overhear what you're saying. Uh, I switch to Frank. Ah, say to the baguette, he announces. And say quietly, we're being followed. <laughs> Doc What's goes, this froggy crap you're talking? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he's no longer fluent in French. He may have forgotten how to speak it since he last talked to him. No baguette. Hmm? No, no. Um, you might try a different language with him as he's obviously too uh, distracted to speak French right now. I can let <laughs> He I jabbers at you in his most racist uh, uh, thing. I can't speak that in the past. Right. Uh, you guys managed to forget all of your language. They're jabbering at each other in made up languages Holy just crap. so you know, Pete. We are clearly, we clearly just need huh? to go. Yeah. Hey, I understand oh, everything wait, I know. saying. No, if they're, uh -huh. if they're failing their go. language, you don't understand anything because they're I not making sense. I start speaking to them in ancient Phoenician. Uh, I understand everything I said. Okay, <laughs> so it's a one-way conversation. Got it. Well, I continue talking to him in French. He, talks uh, he, to me he doesn't understand anything you're saying to him, so it's pretty much a one-way conversation. He's forgotten how to speak French, dude. <laughs> mm. I don't know how I can make that more clear. He is right. just not right. getting it. Apparently, he thinks you're, you're, you're... Oh, I said I'm in Phoenician. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're being, we're being followed closely. You can try your ancient Phoenician role there, uh, Marcus. Well, is he trying to speak it? Oh, good yeah, point. Yeah, you're it. not, never mind, you're not, you're, you can't because I forgot your <laughs> battlefish thing. Sorry, ignore that. You understand them just fine, though, Marcus. Yeah. That's a really interesting power, yes. Okay, so Freddie announces in ancient Phoenician that you're being followed. He's like, the cows are following us to the barn. And everybody goes, ah, yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> so, like, we need to, like, just go get a room at an inn and then bust out of here. The little girl stops Freddy. She's like, excuse me, sir, can I have three farthings for a lump of shit, please? A lump of shit? Gee. I toss uh, a I toss a penny in the alley behind her and I kick her when she goes to bend <laughs> over and get it. <laughs> Take the car. <laughs> <laughs> Brat. No, let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's come get a room and then. All right. One gold piece later. Oh, you want a private room, I'm guessing, yes? Yeah. Cool. Mark off a gold. Money goes quick here. You're in a room. Uh, give me listen rolls. Lower is better. Nice. You hear somebody, right? Nice. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, and Freddy, try a Thari roll. P doesn't need to. Oh, you, you guys both here. Hey, get off that wall. 
and then you hear somebody climbing up the wall and like they're right below your window you guys are all like just looking at the window there's somebody like hiding right below it and uh, you hear a body being drug off by a couple other guys and yeah i pull the curtains closed <laughs> Is there a chamber pot in here? Uh, yes, but it's empty. Would you like to set it up? <laughs> Shows all the PCs pissing into the chamber pot. Yeah! Don't cross the streams. <laughs> um, if you guys want to do that and go for the garderobe, I'm totally fine with that. It's up to you. I, I'd rather just leave since we're in somewhat private well, now. Yeah, I was thinking empty the chamber pot out the window. So you want to put it up? Yeah, I mean, they, they normally come empty. If you go to the kind of place yeah, yeah, where they I come know. full, then you're not in a good place. Well, I haven't peed all this time we've been together, so it's mm -hmm. got to be pretty pent up. All right, yeah, he takes a leak and then throws it out the window and you... Uh, See how professional the guy is. Yeah, he's just. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, I close the window, close the curtain. They've um, got shutters also. Close right, close them. Uh, what is it? Uh, is there a little um, a lamp we can turn on? You don't need it. There's enough light coming in through the shuttered windows okay. and stuff. Um, I will pull out my trump of that one time. For some reason I made a trump of that place. We shadow walked those mariachi band people to Mexico. That's so inside the shadow wall, though, right? Inside the shadow wall, yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't care. About that uh, yeah, essentially, Freddy's going to be doing the willpower thing to try to get you guys through safely because the uh, okay. shadow thing still tries to eat your asses, is it not literally right, so eat your asses? Uh, so, uh, since you're trying to get a 50, everybody takes a D12 and you're uh, not I'm getting through. Wait, what? Uh, you're going to be taking more damage, Marcus. I, I made it. What the you will. Okay. Uh, you're so talking. You you were loud enough. It was just you got uh, too many people talking at once. That's all. Ah, he pulled out a trump card. Everybody latched onto him. He made a uh, success at half. So everybody takes a D8 damage. Please adjust for your armor. It's real damage. And he. No, you don't get tarot cards for this area. He's taking you to. You seem to be in uh, kind of a uh, a very white person's idea of what Mexico should be. Mariachi bands everywhere, half price tequila, uh, lots of salsa with chips, and they put cheese on the tacos. That okay. kind of place. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, and cilantro's never been heard of here. So, <laughs> all right, now we can leave to. So now, now that we're here, Doc. Yeah. What the fuck? When were you so close and friendly with Benedict? A waiter comes up and he says, "Spanish, Spanish, Spanish." I understand it. What he say? Ah, he says, hey, "My restaurant is currently serving half-price tacos and tequila. Would you like to uh, dine here?" Uh, no. He goes away. Doc's like, mm, I can do some tacos. Taco. Doc, explain. Explain what? You and Benedict, you're like best buddies. What the fuck? Since when? No, we're not. He was talking to you like he knew literally everything going on in our shadow. Because he's probably the most honorable, not quite as ambery as everybody else but it's about for him it's all about the realm the good of the realm so how does him helping us well not helping us how does him knowing about 
Island Shadow and keeping that quiet helped the well. Helps it helps Amber because we are we have had now things ripple into Amber more so than most other things have. So we were the danger for a while, as we knew already. Um, <clears throat> and then with us restoring the eye and everything and bringing balance back to here, so that might balance out. Like So no longer is our pattern pushing out. So it should balance. Should. Okay. Because that's what the other random wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. But now that there's the fake M, like the fake random there, not sure what is going on. Mm -hmm. As we know that there's fake random, fake Fiona, and uh, I believe one other person. Oh, I don't really remember. I, I need to so look they, at my notes. I don't know. It's where they it's are. kind of a random random. Hmm. Something like that. How do you know that Benedict's the real Benedict? It would be hard anybody to fake his presence we're all pretty good at knowing people other than random yeah but see like even random didn't have that same presence like hmm. it's kind of like the bounce like when you walk up to a club like you can tell the difference between like the bouncer that you're scared of and the guy that's just like hey you shouldn't be in here eh. and you're like yeah whatever bitch okay. all right well so long as you're certain it's he's trustworthy. I mean, he did, I I'll give it to you, he did say I can have my hand back. Well, and if you've noticed, he's always been about like quote unquote, mm -hmm. like the rules. Yeah, all so the he's, like, rules. he's like a knight kind of in that respect. He's a paladin, right? So, like, he kind of... <sighs> yes and no, like, it it's it's still Amber, so. Yeah. He, he does have gray areas as well, but it's, he's doing it for the good of the realm and that's because that's what he's aligned with. And that's why he's kind of worried and watching at this point. Like he knows things need to change, that everything can't be the way it's been. So what is the change? What is going to be the new way? And why is it spilling into our little thing now? Uh, and that's because we have the balance of like see now that more people are paying attention to us because we've made enough waves and whatnot now where you've become a focus and now that they know that ghost wheel is a, like was from you know chaos and everything well so it he knows about ghost wheel they all do ghost wheel's been around for a long no, time no, no, no. He knows about Ghost Will and our shadow. The yeah. They, they know um, Ghost Will made it out of shadow. May, no, I don't know if he knows that, but he does know that Ghost Wheel exists because Merlin is, you know, was connected and it was before Merlin was king of chaos. I okay. believe that he made it or something. <clears throat> Or something. I love those. Okay. Um, I so. don't know what kind of weird cosmic powers they all have. They're been along. They've been around way too long, doing way too many things. And so, you, you don't believe Benedict knows about those who are creating our, our world. No, that I don't think so. Okay. Does he know about Janice? Not really. And I don't. And all that. He might know who she is because she was there briefly, but I think that's about it. Okay. Um, okay. Fine. All right. Well, that's all I wanted to, do, to ask. Shall we go and check out the logos and... A mariachi right band now. kicks off uh, down the block. <sighs> what? Have they continued to multiply? You're not sure. You haven't been around long enough, but... Uh, I don't want to find out. I'm leaving. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> I pull out the Trump to... We got somewhere private, like behind the building or alleyway or something. Pull out the Trump. 
to the Dino Land cave and luck roll. Yep. <laughs> Easier luck roll on this one than you're normally subjected to, but still, oh, uh, yeah. Right. You guys latch on to Freddy and head through, and you seem to be. It's nighttime here, and it looks like this. And yes, now Marcus, you do. Yeah, yeah now we get some fucking uh, tarot cards. Let's see. Reveal areas. Chunk. Chunk. There's where you're at, and his two tarot cards are. Let's see, Freddie, you're going to keep, or well, let's see, uh, the Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups. As you can see, uh, you're in the area, it's actually got a triple moon in it. Uh, the place you're at is the cave in the picture that looks like it's uh possible for people to get to but it's up like a very narrow winding path thing that goes up yeah. a few stories and puts you to about the right uh, <clears throat> level for getting bit by a dinosaur also uh you see a weird pig thing that looks like a rigor pig but with red splotches wander by uh rooting through the stuff on the uh jungle floor it's hot damn hot vietnam hot All right, I'm gonna do, right, carefully do them towards where we put the lowest. Okay. And then where this and all that. No problem. Uh, you guys go by uh, from the cave. He takes you to a uh, watering hole. From the watering hole, hold on, let me make sure I'm getting this right. Uh, right. Yes, he takes you over to a big out in the middle of the fucking open multi weird floating logris thing that's just sparkling with power and is completely unprotected and it looks like it's a big 3d fucking pattern looking thing that's slowly moving around and writhing in the air like some sort of snake uh yeah back real quick mm. <clears throat> and you said was this really did you like <clears throat> <laughs> you're looking at it talk about unprotected this is it pretty much anybody want to walk by and do anything horrible to it this is it and you're thinking huh and wh wh where it gets even worse chris is just past this is uh looks like uh, just past this is a huge cleared circular area that has all these big uh, claw-like things that are kind of all pointed in in a ring, right? All the separate claw things, and then where, that's where the old gate was. Uh huh. Oh yeah, real close to it. And then over there is like some sort of uh, big shattered stone with loads of occult and mystical markings and shit all over it. Uh, that looks like it's been partially reduced to dust. And, uh, oh, everybody give me a sandy roll unless you have dinosaurs maxed out. It's zero if you make it, d6 if you fail, and because uh, you see some pterodactyls winging by. And you know that if any of them was to get curious and like land on the Logris, which is really very possible, then uh, bad things would happen to uh, them and maybe the logos you're not really sure you guys can give a fuck about seeing dinosaurs you're like yeah 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 i played arc got it got it um, <laughs> uh, but and in addition to that the uh the big shattered stone with loads of occult markings and shit over there still sparkles a bit with some sort of weird power that you can just feel power rippling off of this thing and it's at this point that the doc slowly looks at Freddy and he says, What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> you put it, well, why did you put it, like, why didn't you put it inside somewhere or 
something at least. Mm. As we wanted this list act to protect it. We didn't know who else to protect it. Oh, and are it, they like why not put it in a building that they what can protect? Building? There's a building, yeah. You're going to tell me there's no abandoned buildings anywhere around here? No, we scouted the entire area. Oh, right this around. Was... They found the biggest, flattest possible field. If you were to take either soccer or football pitches and go one, two, three, one, two, three, you know, so it's too long, three wide, that's about the size of this big, flat area. Um, yeah, you're really impressed. They found pretty much a giant completely flat field to put on this weird writhing ultra chaotic uh power roiling off of it mass you see a couple of insects try to land on it, go it, it also acts as a bug zapper apparently which is i guess good can't wait to see what happens if a t-rex wanders into it that should be how big is it exactly uh roughly call it a Three-story building squared, maybe, maybe four stories somewhere in there. Yeah, even the snake temple wouldn't hold this, which is where we were discussing it. It's massive. But I wonder if you would have put it inside of something, if, if, like inside of a building, if it would have been then building-sized instead of just, you know, as big as you wanted it to be. I don't know how the levels works. Uh, everybody give me empathy rolls on the dock. Dock doesn't need to roll. I'm aware he's not happy, but it's well, the best way Give me, give me an empathy uh, roll. I'm just going to tell I'll you it. That, that his stress vein is, you recognize that's his stress vein. You see a vein, PC's a vein on Doc's head going, ba-doom, ba-doom. But he recognizes that as a stress vein. It's not his anger vein. That's a different one that goes. That one looks like it may be starting to go a little bit, but the stress vein's definitely going. How big is the Logos in the Courts of Chaos, Doc? You've been there. How big is it? It's big, but it's all in an enclosed, easily defensible building. Is it as big as this one? Uh, mm, no, it's a little smaller. This one apparently spread out a bit. Doc gives you the look like, you bitches, I figured shit out. Doc, just take a card and look smug. Smugger? Can you look smugger, Doc? <laughs> well, there's no use crying over spilt milk. We need to do it. Like, come on. What, what's, what, how are we gonna... <laughs> oh. Wait, you did that. Oh, oh, he's back. back. Okay. He froze up there. It looked like he, uh, he thought he... I thought you were doing it for dramatic purposes where you're like sipping and then you're gonna wait, but no, you were frozen. <laughs> P, wow, the Logris looks really, it, it's kind of like you go in this and then you go crazy stuff, including up in the air apparently, and then back out this other path. Wish, do not walk the Logris, you will die. I'm just telling oh, you. I'll walk that Logris right now. It feels it's like ultimate power. You will die. Not, not. Remember when I told you there's a chance you die if you want the pattern? I'm telling you right now, if you want this, you will die. I hear you. <laughs> Part of me wants to do it right now. Well, even I though mean, you've already walked a Logarus, you believe, yes, that this is a new one. Doc, can we first like, protect it and then you can do that? Okay, so. Essentially, if you wanted to really protect blown it, up you need a four story. A hot but... air balloon of chaotic ultimate magic in a field. And you're just like, oh, we're going to get a couple of people to come out and protect it now. <laughs> it shows a sleeve stack with a really lame crossbow that has a range of like 20 feet. Dang. So we need to somehow get an airplane hanger around this bitch because that's about by the time it's done expanding because it doesn't have a constraint right now it's going to keep pushing out take a card doc yes things may fester nice <sighs> freddie looks as though oh freddie 
It does look yeah. a little bit bigger than when you originally made it. What if we build a fence around it? <laughs> How about if we draw a pattern around it? Uh, that might explode the entire universe. But what a way to go. True. I'll move you back to the card discard page. Right, he's, uh, he's got to see the cool pigs. They're good eating and lots of bacon off of an entire pig. Now the good news <clears> is <throat> there's no limit on tech in this zone. So at least we have that going for us. No limit on what? Tech. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So is there a limit on magic here? Yeah, it's quite low, I think. Although that might change now that this is here. If only there was some way to find out. Uh, I don't want to cause the magic to do it. <laughs> Take a card for avoiding Logan's trap. Or potential trap. Or just paranoia. Take a card for paranoia. Well, sounds like what we need are minions. <sighs> yeah, all the minions that we have are a bunch of assholes. They want money for literally defending the universe they, they're in. Well, I mean, um, enough Indians to build a, uh, uh, a warehouse around this thing. Yeah, we, we have those. They're in the embassy. Uh, it's just how we're going to convince them to do this. Besides money, yes, we can pay them. I don't know how much it will cost. Probably a lot. Um, kidnap their loved ones? Mm, they already hate me as, enough as it is. They really do. Because of that oh, thing wait. you did. We need a place for them to live, right? <laughs> yeah. Tech is unlimited here, and that's what they were looking for, right? Yeah, and it's uninhabited besides the dinosaurs. Yeah. You guys hear like rawr. it sounds like T Rex hungry and uh, jungle which is suspiciously close to the Logris. Very too close. You are astounded with where they built it, Chris. I just want to point this out. I you wonder also that the more life essence it takes from the creatures here. That might make it stronger too, thus making it expand even faster. Oh, demon dinosaurs, yes. I can't wait. Well, I'm danger sensing the dinosaur sounds. Uh, you feel like a little worm on a big fucking hook. Maybe we should go back to the cave for now. No, no, we'll be fine. Look, we need to figure out what we're going to do with this. Well, you do understand there's like nothing we can do right now I know, unless you have some kind of magic castle that will just boop right around it or something or like magic you know yeah bah. and we can plan inside the cave in safety yeah okay hey, Doc, where did that magic fort thing that you had go the what didn't you have like a magical fort thing although it's quite small i suppose it was, was small in... it was used long ago in mmo land to help defend uh, the city. Okay. All right, let's go back to the cave. Partly. <laughs> what? He evilly <laughs> laughs all the way back to the cave. Oh, uh, no, I was just kind of, like, part of me was just giggling because I, I know it would never work, but part of me just wanted to, like, take out the the genie, the other genie lamp, the trap, and, like, hold it up, see if I could suck it in there. Wow. <laughs> wow. That would definitely save a lot of real estate. Uh, Doc, how long can you sustain your mecha dot form? Not very long. How often can you do it? I don't know. It's been a long time. Like I think, like I'd have to kind. Of, I'd have to look through my notes. I, I think it's a it's a once a day. Oh. Okay. I just don't use it a lot because I don't like to abuse it. That's why. Hey, baby, use it or lose it. No. 
No, and low, like if you use it a shitload, then it's gonna go the fuck away real fast. If you use it when it's needed and only when it's needed, then it sticks around longer. It, it might be needed now to help build something big. big. Just saying. You're thinking that probably is duration combat or so. So it could oh. be five or ten minutes of like, look, logs, cool. Of course, that's not much when you're dealing with construction. I'm playing my outdoors person. Yes, you've been spending too much time in the great outdoors. You don't know why they're called great as opposed to mosquito filled. The mos and, uh... mosquitoes are incredibly big and vicious here, too. I have an idea of what might keep it enclosed, but it's getting the people to build around it. That's all it is. Yeah. Could somebody please give me a survival general role, or you all can if you want, uh, in uh, order to cool. light fires, make the cave more comfortable? I'll support you. Or oh, cooking. <laughs> cooking separate. Uh, sure, you can support me. I, I can't quite do it as a living, but. Can you do it as a living? No, okay. Not I'll enough to support you. Uh, huh? I, I think I got a fire lit. Yeah. I, I bring you a bunch of wet <laughs> twigs and shit. There you go. No problem. You, you you guys you guys make the cave more comfortable. Uh, Freddy replaces the super old thrushes and stuff here with. I want to make sure we don't ruin the trunk, obviously, on the cave. Right, right. You, you, you uh, spend time making like a little rock wall around the Trump area. Like, don't fuck with this area over here. Okay. People will later fuck with that area by hanging up a photograph or something of you flipping off the camera. Okay. Uh, so, I, mean, I did have an... Yeah. Go ahead. We can get the people here. It's just materials, cost... Actually, no, like the transport of the materials from where they're at to get here would be a real pain in the ass. Uh, I've done well, it. Because, well, wait a minute. Well, not only it that, is, well, they could go ahead. It, materials could be uh, acquired here. Uh, I thought we need that steel and stuff like that. Well, no, not steel, but wooden, wooden brick. Yeah, wooden brick. Is, yeah, that's fine. Which you can great. definitely make your own wooden brick here if you have that kind of knowledge here. And I agree with that. However, would that be enough to hold this where it's at? Or would it burst through, like, you know, this, like, eventually? Give me shadow lore rolls to help answer Doc's question. Oh, we know. Um, Steel's going to conduct some sort of power off of it. Hmm. No idea. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Everybody gazes into the distance and goes, sounds good. Uh, See, what I was thinking, though, is if we were to go, now there's guardians there, too, but if you were able to go to, we do have that really, really big, I, I don't know if it's still there, that really big piece of wood from the world tree that I dragged off as Megadoc. Oh, yeah. Well, if we could lumber that and turn that into or use some of that lumber in the construction of a dome around this of or like a building around this of some kind, because it's from the world tree and it's from our shadow, it might have enough um, magic it's... in it to keep it connected here, especially since that's what's used for all the clems too, I which like is that. a quasi-magical yeah. thing. Yeah, I like that idea. Uh, okay, how how are we going to bring that piece of lumber here? Shadow lore rolls, please. Yeah. As soon as somebody gets a uh, transport brigade or something like that through shadow and stuff, uh, like the moving large amounts of troops through shadow, company, brigade, division, etc. That would be a big help for uh, moving large amounts of supplies. This is a skill that all the PCs said, useless. And apparently it um, may have some uh, use. When you 
when you turn into Merdok, Megadon, is a top gate. How big is the gate? No? He's okay. never done that. Oh, he's never done that. He knows better. Can we theorize? Sure you can. So the, how big do you think the gate will? Is it in proportion to your size? Or is it I just... think it would pull me through, but just me. No, it's a chump gate. Not, not a normal chump. Oh, chump gate? Hmm. I think the universe would not be happy about that. I think you'd be lucky to get your uh, Mega Doc dick through it. Dun dun dun! <laughs> just shows the people. Look, everything's going so well. I don't see how. Gate? What? <laughs> no! A giant cock hit me in the side of my head. Now that's what I call a glory hole. <laughs> 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 Uh, Reduce your hand there, Mega Doc Dick. <laughs> Ooh, eight cards. Nice. He said some very smart shit earlier. Of course, what is smart? Who can say? It's so smart that... Hold on. It appears dumb to the uninitiated. Cut to shows Freddy just sitting there going... All right, I'm going to do some painting and mega dark dick. <laughs> so awesome that the gods despise me. They're just like, fuck you and all your ideas, Chris. Fair enough. Uh, <clears throat> and that, uh, um, in question, does that come off of, uh, because we have the group travel through Shadow. So yeah, is that just off of that then? Yeah. We've discussed this before. Yeah, it comes off of that. The small group through Shadow, yeah. <clears throat> I actually don't remember ever hearing that you could do that, like a large group. Yeah. You ever do massive groups? Hundreds of people. Either. Or is that travel through Shadow or is that large Trump Gate? No, it's not Trump Gate. It's just travel through shadow. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. What an awkward name. Well, there's slee stacks here, right? Or pseudo slee stacks? Yeah, they're asleep, though. So. Well, um, you guys were talking about how they're not particularly useful. Is that correct? Well, I don't really know. I've never really dealt with them. They're slee stacks. Yeah. And Doc? Asleep. Doc, do you know anything about them? But that no. was our only idea, really, to get the three stacks to help but oh there's it, nothing nothing like indigenous labor true still need materials though like tools and stuff which okay we can bring i suppose yeah um give me memory rolls those that have been in the zone before not you marcus you've never been here before hence there's no way you can know this yeah, maybe. Can I make a telepathy roll? No. <laughs> Did you guys make it? Yeah. By half. Um, you're thinking that the slee stack uh, of this area, because they have like the old wise ones that got turned into librarians and stuff, but the ones that are currently mostly in hibernation are pretty much at the level of cave people, so to speak. They have regenerated, or never. They've gone back in their tech level quite <laughs> hardcore. Okay. Um... So, um, bringing some of the uh, benefits of the white man's civilization to the uh, unfortunate natives here um, may get us some cred. 
and labor, thus not having to move armies around through shadow. True, but the problem is we don't know if they have... Because they're like cave people, basically. The kind of labor they'd be doing would be moving rocks and stuff around, basically. Not mm. building... Oh, and with yeah. your memory roll at half, by the way, Fulton, they fucking hate humans. Oh, oh well, that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they also hate the white man, but, you know. So, Freddie, a new power uh, tree is opened up on off of Trump Gate, if you ever get a crit on that again. Oh, I'm, I'm not telling you on that, but okay. It would have been useful to have that yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> I don't have the hook yesterday. That's okay. a spirit. So, have you guys checked out Clems? Is Clems working again or no? Uh, we believe as soon as we fix the logos and everything, it will go back to normal. But yes. But it's. We don't know what the status is now that we built the logos. So, we should go check that. It well, this might... is a big new problem this isn't going to get solved today clearly yeah. a big new problem say it isn't so chris you never have big problems in this campaign never never so i wouldn't mind going and checking out clems and seeing how he's doing okay i can do that But we still need to figure out something at least for this. But yeah, sure. <clears throat> uh, let's go to the embassy. All right. And have a look. I pull out my trunk and we go to the bunker room. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pay. I'll be back. Okay. You want to pause until Chris gets back or continue on? Well, I mean, we can just go to the cleanse and pause there. You guys go to the cleanse and pause there. Uh, I'm good with that. Okay. The hobbits want second breakfast. Of course. No worries. Uh, Half the time, they'll just stand there looking at the food until I tell them to go ahead and eat. Weird. You are the, it is kind of weird. Congratulations, That's you not... are the dominant cat. <laughs> I get a lot of cooperation. Can't really call it obedience when it's a cat. No. Just like that, we get four new powers. Oh, hey, um, while we're fooling around, do I get? Can I take another uh, alchemy check on the unicorn blood? Uh, not until your alchemy goes up or next adventure. Okay. Yeah, you you don't know anything that you didn't know the well, other I day. Yeah, you pass it around, pass the duchy on the left-hand side, whatever. Sure, let me help with that. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, by half. What's it do, though? I uh, do, you're not sure, but you're thinking that you definitely need to get it into some bare containers rather than stuck to miscellaneous leaves and stuff. Uh, if you can get hold of some uh, alchemy-type tools and stuff like that, you're thinking... Uh, scraping it off carefully and putting it in sealed vials and stuff 
um, possibly uh, anything else to retain the efficacy of it would be a good idea. Uh, uh, like, let me tell quick. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, so, but of course, we just, uh, well, Doc, we just found out that um, the unicorn blood should be put into some special containers and whatnot, and uh, carefully scraped off and... Oh! Uh, yeah. Lizard eggs. Lizard eggs? And should be what? But scraped off the leaves and stuff carefully, put into some vials or whatever. Possibly with some kind of reagent or something to make sure it doesn't go bad or whatever. But yeah, leaving them the way they are is not going to be good. Well, I'm going to keep my eye open for lizard nests. You realize you're back in the embassy at the Clems, right? Oh, oh crap. Uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. How far behind in the script are you today, sir? Uh, so, yeah, glassware should be no problem here. Uh, in the Old West? Yeah, you can find some. It's not great, but yeah, they got some you can have. They have a lot of crafters here. They, it's blown glass, so, you know. Yeah, you, you pick up some glasses and dump it in there because you don't have the alchemy skill to uh, figure out what to do with it exactly. That's fine. For now, we can just leave it there. Yeah. So what's cleanse like? It looks like it's uh, in a big stone building with a whole bunch of incompetent people guarding it, just like yeah. always. Well, we'll go in then. One, one last thing there um, on the uh, vials or jars or whatever we've got here, seal them, seal them up with wax. Certainly. Uh, they look super breakable and delicate, not the kind of thing that you want to carry around in an adventurer's backpack where you regularly fall off of high places or get hit or stuff like that. I recommend storing them somewhere secure. Well, uh, how about uh, for now a box with dividers in it, a wooden box with dividers in it? It will give them some protection, but again, you wrote, you just the other day, you literally fell off of like a second story uh, thing onto somebody else. So I recommend finding somewhere better to store them than on your person. You leave them. Oh, like in, this, in the vault here? You could if you want. I mean, you, you lead a rough and tumble life. I recommend consulting the other two of where they think a good place to store them is. Uh, uh yeah well it'd be good if they're there in the future yeah put it in the embassy is fine um yeah you know what it's only us three that know what it is right i don't think anyone's gonna care honestly <laughs> 